Hi everyone, Sariana van Us here with another tutorial for stencil art. As always, I will list all the products and the product list at the end of the video. Detailed instructions will also be available on the blog at www.artjournaler.blogspot.com. Today I'm doing something different. My son bought a guitar from one of his favorite guitarists and received some stickers of the band as well. He asked me to preserve the stickers in some way for him. Cover a canvas with black gesso. Remember to do the sides as well. Collage pieces of serviette with matte multimedium to the background. I also took a photo of Edray's guitar and cropped it in a photo editing program and then printed it on plain copy paper with my laser printer. Carefully cut out the guitar so that the leftover piece of paper can be used as a template. Then play around with the placement of the guitar and stickers and use temporary adhesive spray to adhere the template to the canvas. Spread fiber paste through the template to create dimension. Carefully lift the template. I left it to dry overnight. Print another copy of the guitar on plain copy paper and tear a piece of wax paper as large as the A4 copy paper. I've tried all brands of wax paper or deli paper and found this specific brand from Checkers perfect for collage. To print the guitar on my wax paper, I need to temporarily adhere the wax paper to the copy paper so that I can feed it through my laser printer. I also found that if I spray temporary adhesive over the whole piece of wax paper, I cannot pull the wax paper from the copy paper. It seems to permanently adhere where the image is printed. That is why I only spray adhesive on the outer edges of the copy paper. I carefully cut out the guitar from the wax paper and used Heritage 3D Crystal Acrylic in Siena to adhere the image over the fiber paste. Use an old shop card to remove any air bubbles trapped under the wax paper and then use clear gel medium on top of the image. Spread golden black metallic paint over the collage pieces of serviette to try to blend it into the background. Remove the backing paper from the stickers and adhere it in place and use an old store card to really make sure that the stickers are firmly stuck without any trapped air bubbles. Otherwise it will start peeling after a while. Apply clear gesso over the slick surfaces of the stickers so that you can add more layers on top. Use Viva Decors, metallic rubs and the flame stencils to create some flames. I used a palette knife, my fingers and Ranger's nip tool to really get into the tiny spaces.
You will notice that I was really struggling with the red paste, as it is quite old and it dried out. I even tried to heat it with the heat gun. I eventually found out that I can mix it easily with water to create a spreadable consistency. These Vivo Decor's metallic rubs really blend easily so that you can layer the different colors to add dimension and interest to the flames. Mix the red metallic rub with water and apply a thin wash of color over the stickers so that it can blend into the background. I then left it overnight to dry thoroughly. I really wanted the flames to pop, so I repainted the background with black acrylic paint. You can see how this immediately brings the main elements to the foreground. I adhered the signed self-adhesive picture of the band to the canvas and sealed it with gel medium on top. I'm adding more details and interest as well as some shading with portfolio water-soluble oil pastels. Use a fixative spray to make sure that the water-soluble portfolio oil pastels do not move or blend. I always use any adhesive or fixative sprays outside as it is recommended to spray in a well-ventilated room. Finally, seal the whole canvas with polyurethane hard varnish in a matte finish to protect it from scratches and dust. I prefer to use a foam brush to apply the varnish to avoid any brush strokes or getting any loose bristles stuck on the canvas. I place the canvas on paint jar so that I can seal the sides and left it to dry. Thank you so much for joining me.